Hey everybody, 3D Icicle Freeze here. In the last episode, we pretty much went ahead and started the game as well as got our Pokemon, Tepig. In this part, we are going to figure out how to catch a Pokemon and um, head to Route 1. So, uh, real quick, I would like to get out my bag. Okay, well, I want to see my Pokemon. As you can see, I have my level 6 Tepig because I... Um, ooh! Okay, that's really good. Okay, why I'm freaking out right now. Um, as you're going to see, because I might as well explain this now. Uh, careful, nature. Uh, Nuvemba Town. Met at level 5. Obviously, it tells me when I'm met, and it gives a characteristic. A little quick-tempered. Basically, these all have meanings, um, which I think I'm actually going to put on screen right now. Um, natures actually give you specific stat boosts. So, real quick. As you can see... Special attack is lit in, in like a light blue, and special defense is lit in a bright red. If you um, if you look closely, you'll see that special defense is obviously higher than special attack. Now, of course, this isn't always the case, but what that means is careful nature gives you 15% increase on special defense and 15% decrease at special attack. So that's really nice. That means I'm going to have a very good defensive Embor in the end, which is honestly fantastic. So I can honestly say that's that's a really good nature. Now, um, as much as it pains me to say this, I'm not going to really care about natures for the most part, but of course, secretly, I um, I care about them. And then actually, uh, let me just go back real quick, and then um, it's at a little quick temper. There are also characteristics with, which give you, like, I think it's like it's literally like a specific amount of points like I don't even think it's a percentage or maybe there is a percentage like 5% but I'm pretty sure the characteristics only give you like 30 points maximum in a uh, stat but anyway a little quick tempered gives me um, some uh, stat boosts in attack or gives me some attack stats which is very nice okay anyway I think we're ready to head to route 1 All right, let's see what Bianca has to say. Jake, it's this way. <clears throat> Bianca says if we're starting a journey together, she wants us all to take our first step at the same time. Hey, Jake, let's take, let's all take our first step on Route One together. Okay, here we go. One, two. Route One. Oh, I wonder what will happen. Isn't this so exciting? It sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. Oh, I hate my friends. <laughs> Professor Juniper, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Now that everyone's here, I'll explain. The Pokedex's pages update automatically whenever you meet a Pokemon. Moreover, it's set up so that you obtain even more information when you catch a Pokemon. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. She goes into the grass. And she finds a pet rat. Unfortunately, this is, you know, more tutorial stuff. You know, nothing special. But anyway, she has a level 7 Minchino. Pretty cool, I suppose. Because that is a Pokemon we're not going to be able to uh, actually have for a while. If we wanted it, of course. Okay. Use a Pokeball after lowering its HP. Go to Pokeballs, we'll bag Pokeballs, Pokeball, use. Professor Juniper, use the Pokeball. I, ca I honestly kind of wish you could, like, skip this or fast forward it, because, I mean, come on, I mean, I've been playing since Gen 1. I, I, I think I know how to catch a Pokemon. <laughs> I wish there was at least an option, like, hey, I can teach you if you'd like, and then you can click yes or no. But, oh well, not much you could do there. Did you see that just now? Oh damn it, I missed it! Here's how it goes, step by step. First, reduce the Pokemon's HP. Uh-huh. Pokemon that still have all their energy are difficult to catch. Uh-huh. If you can, use your Pokemon's moves, uh-huh, to make the Pokemon you want to catch fall asleep. Or paralyze it. Uh-huh. And to wrap this up in the best way, I have a gift for you. Some balls. Jake obtained Pokeballs. Alright, so you get five, I believe. Pokeballs are used for catching Pokemon and carrying them. Very nice. Anyway, she says head to Accumulatown. 
She forgot to say that Pokemon jump out at you in tall grass. That should have been assumed, Charon. Anyway, I'm heading to Accumula Town too. I think I'll go too. I'm looking forward to the next town so I can go shopping for Pokeballs. Wait a minute! Hey, listen, Jake, Charon! I thought of something fun. But we need to get going! I had imagined the professor's waiting too! Would you just listen to sex seriously? Why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? The person carrying the most Pokemon, including the one received from Professor Juniper, is the winner. Huh, actually, that sounds interesting. It will fill up Pokedex pages, so I'm sure it will please the professor too. Okay then, until we reach Accumula Town, take care of healing your Pokemon at your own house. Me and Snivy will do our best for sure. Anyway, uh, I think it's time that we can go over uh, the different Pokemon in this route. So here on Route 1, there are only two different kinds of Pokemon. The first one, um, I want to just run into. But first, uh, if you talk to this lady, she says, Is your Pokemon's HP alright? When your Pokemon HP decreases while you're on the road, it could be a big problem. So I'll give you this. Put in your bag's medicine in case. And you get a potion that restores 20 HP. Very useful. Okay. Now, um... Okay, first Pokemon on Route 1, Lillipup. Lillipup is a pure normal type. Lillipup is actually not a bad Pokemon. You would expect many of the Pokemon that, you know, are in the beginning of the game to be not as good. Lillipup is actually a Pokemon I can recommend. Not only does it evolve at a very normal level, um, first level, first level I think like 17, and then the next level is 30. So, um, you know, which again, you get Stoutland. Um, it also can get, uh, vi you know, Vital Spirit, which is really good, and then eventually when you get Stoutland, it goes to Intimidate, which is a fantastic ability, which I'm gonna actually go over now, because why not? Um, every Pokemon has, um, you know, specific abilities to them, and Pokemon can actually have more than one ability, so, um, you know, like Lillipup, let's go over to Lillipup. We have Vital Spirit, prevents the Pokemon from falling asleep, which is actually really useful. Um, by the way, I'm not using Lillipup on my team, I'm just catching it f for the, you know, little competition that's going on between us. But, um, but anyway, um, Vital Spirit turns into Intimidate later on. And anyway, again, um, Lillipup has more than one ability. If you catch the Lillipup, it could have also had, um... Uh, Damn, what's the other one? I think it's called Pickup. And, uh, basically, it randomly picks up items. And that one turns into, like, I think it's, like, s like Sand Rush or something. Basically, you're not affected by, um, like, like, Sandstorm or anything like that. I have to double-check the exact name for it. But anyway, yeah, so abilities are very important, in case you're wondering. Uh, every starter has either Blaze, Torrent, or... I think it's like called overgrowth. I gotta, I, I'm like drawing a blank here, but um, but yeah, basically it makes it so when you're low on HP, um, your stab moves do more damage. So very nice. Anyway, so yeah, um, Stoutland is a really good normal type. Definitely uh, something I could recommend. Here, uh, hopefully we can find the other one. Nope, not quite. Uh, ooh, level four. Okay. Uh, I think I actually want to get some XP, so I think I'm actually going to battle this lily pup. Because, um, that's another thing, <laughs> um, just me personally, and I want to tell you guys about it, because it's probably going to become a little bit of a... I mean, it won't become a problem, because obviously I, I'm not going to make it a problem, but... Um, I'm used to grinding a lot of XP, and in case you don't know what that means, is that means I go into the wild a lot, and I battle a lot of you know, Pokemon until I get a lot of XP and I'm at the level that I, you know, I like. And, um, unfortunately, I'm just like, I'm just somebody who grinds a lot of XP. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing that for the Let's Play. But, uh, if you see that my levels are too high, please let me know. Um, because again, I have a tendency to kind of go into the grass and train a lot. But again, I, I don't think this problem is going to happen because I think I'm pretty much only going to face you know, trainers, and then, I mean, if the XP is, like, like, 2 XP away, yeah, I'll go into the grass and I'll just get that level up, but, anyway, our second wild Pokemon on this route is Patrat. Patrat is also a pure normal type, but, um, it is not a good Pokemon at all. 
Uh, I'm just gonna flat out tell you, it is like the Ratatata of the generation. It's really not that good. Um, I mean, its attack is pretty decent. Its speed isn't that great, but it's like, just for the Pokemon and the typing and everything, it's really just not that good of a Pokemon. Um, if you're looking for a normal type and you don't want Lillipup, definitely skip out on this Pokemon, because better normal types will be coming. Anyway, so we caught Pat Rat. So now, um, when you go all the way to the end of the route, which I obviously we're already here. How about it, Jake? Do you want to compare which of us has the most Pokemon? Sure. Wow, three? That's awesome. Are you excited to have that many Pokemon with you? Too bad I'm going to put two of them in the PC. Anyway, Jaren says, incidentally, if you check your Pokedex, you'll see how many Pokemon you found and how many you've caught. I'm off to Accumulatown. The professor is waiting. Hey, the x transceiver is ringing. Okay, Jake picked up the x transceiver. Hello, how is everybody doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great now, right? Anyway, um... Basically, we're just talking. She's just making sure we're doing okay. Obviously, we're doing okay. Well, I'm going on ahead. Now, Accumulatown! Uh, let's go talk to the professor. Let's go learn about the po- Uh, I almost said the Pokedex. <laughs> let's go learn about the Pokemon Center. Anyway, uh, this game, to me, has, like, one of the coolest things ever. And, uh, you're about to see. Is that, uh, this is the first game to... Basically, add the Pokemon inside the Pokemon Center. And I actually like that a lot, because you're all in one place, getting things very conveniently, you know, together. Which I like that a lot. It kind of saves, you know, a little bit of time. Um, because when you think about it, it's kind of, you know, unnecessary to go to two different buildings. Well, not n unnecessary, but it's just kind of convenient. Anyway, I like what happens when you talk to Professor Juniper here. You should be talking to the lady at the counter, not to me. What does Bianca say? All you need to do is give her your Pokemon, Jake. <laughs> All right, guys. Jesus, my first time. Well, my birthday. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Today's not my birthday. <laughs> Wait, no. Today's not my birthday. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Today is not my birthday. <laughs> okay. It's not my birthday, guys. <laughs> Damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, what? <laughs> okay. Okay, now that your Pokemon have rested, I'll show you how to use the PC at the Pokemon Center. Oh my god. <laughs> I, why? I don't know why it asked me that. I thought I already... I don't even know. Anyway, Professor Juniper says, this is the PC. It's free for any trainer to use. You can store Pokemon in your PC boxes or select Pokemon stored in your PC boxes to take them along with you. In addition, if you catch a new Pokemon while well, you have six traveling with you, the Pokemon you just caught is sent automatically to the PC network. Surprising, isn't it? Amazing, even. Here's something else that's cool. If you select my PC, I'll evaluate the progress you've made on your Pokedex. Very nice. Professor, it says someone's PC on the screen. Who is someone? Very good, Bianca. That's a great observation. Good question, and I'd like to say more, but for now, I really just don't know, so we're going to ignore that. Someone is the person who made the Pokemon storage system. Someone I'm sure you'll meet someday. Okay, let's move on. Okay, someone uh, we'll actually meet very soon. Now, this is the Pokemon. This is the place to buy useful items and sell the ones you don't need anymore. That gentleman over there will help you with a smile. So let's wrap this up. I've given you the basics of being a trainer. I'm going to head back to Novemba Town. One final thing. When you get to Striaton City, go and meet an inventor named Fennel. She's a friend of mine from long ago, and I'm sure she'll help you on your way. Best of luck. I hope your journeys prove to be an, an adventure of a lifetime. Very nice. Cool. Thank you, Professor Juniper. Oh, what should I buy? Potions of Pokeballs are definitely important. Hmm, thinking. Talk to her again. Oh, what should I buy? Potions of Pokeballs or die? She says the same thing, but... Mmm, thinking. I've never heard somebody say thinking out loud when they think, but... Anyway, uh, let's go to the PC. As you can see, we have Jake's PC. Yeah, you can have uh, mail. I hate to say it, but your PC is pretty much useless. Um, the professor, obviously, um, as she said, you know, just a minute ago, that's going to basically help with... Um, you know, letting you know where you are in terms of the Pokedex. Uh, I'm not really going to be doing that very often, though. But someone's PC is 
where you're more than likely going to be going most of the time. So anyway, I'm not going to be using Lollipop or Pat Rat. Um, again, it was just simply put for the, you know, com you know, the competition or whatever. Um, but yeah, and actually, they would have said different things in the, um, in the first... If you actually only... If you didn't catch anything, Bianca actually would have said something different. Like, oh, what are your Pokemon? Lonely? And then actually, um, uh, if you caught two, I think that... I think she also would have said, like, oh, we have the same amount or whatever. So, anyway, uh, we're good to go. And, uh, I don't think I want to buy anything at the Pokemon Mart. Pokemon Mart. Pokemon Mart, that makes sense. The Poke Mart. And, uh, I think we're ready to go. Anyway, as soon as you come outside... Sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Well, let's have a look Let's have a little look-see. <laughs> I love that. Anyway, let's head to the left here. Jake, come here a sec. My name is Gitsis. I'm here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Huh? What? I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth in what I'm Yikes! saying? I don't know. No way. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility towards these wonderful beings called Pokemon? What could it be? Liberation? That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. Then and only then will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. Boo, you stink! No, just kidding. Well... <laughs> anyway, older man. About that speech, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon, that's not even possible! <laughs> I don't even know why I chose to make them sound like that. But anyway... Your Pokemon. Just now it was saying. Slow down, you talk too fast. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. My name is Charon, and this is Jake! We were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokedex, eh? So, you're going to confine many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that, then. I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Jake, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Whoa, and we battle this weird guy named N. Anyway, um, N has a level 7 Purloin. Um, really nothing special. I believe it has Scratch, Tail Whip, and, um, Assist, which you can't even use. Uh, not too sure. It either has Tail Whip or Growl. It might be Growl. Wow, we got a critical hit, which I actually might as well explain. Anyway, he says more. Let me hear more of your Pokemon's voice. Anyway, um, critical hits. Basically, that doubles the power. It's a random act of kindness from the game. Basically, you cannot control how you get critical hits, unless you have a move that ups the amount of critical hits you can get. But, um, as you can see, critical hits do a lot, and, uh, they're very nice when they happen. Of course, though, okay, it is Growl, it's not Tail Whip. And, um, I wonder if it even has assist. Probably, even if it did, it, you can't, yeah, it wouldn't be useful anyway. In fact, he wouldn't be able to use it. But anyway, we get to level 8, very nice. But, um, yeah, so Scratch and Growl. Okay. Wow, that gave us a lot. Defeated N. I never expected to hear Pokemon say such things. And we get the money. 
As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon, because they're my friends. Huh, strange guy. But I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the next... Oh, excuse me, not the next. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Strides and City. It's a city, not a town! Aim to, ba aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Okay, so that's very useful. So why don't we do that? Anyway, um... So there's two interesting things about this town that I'd like to show off. First, if you go into this building... Is it this building? I think it's actually the other building. Talk to this guy. This is a Pokeball I got in the past. I'm going to give it to you. And he gives you a Pokeball. So you get a free Pokeball right there. Very nice. Um... So that's all I want to show in this building. The next thing I want to show is very, um... It's, it's, you don't need to do it, but I thought it's a really cool little touch to this game. And actually, this is the first game to do so. Now, let's see what this guy has to say, looking at those two Pokeballs over there. Beautiful scenery and relaxing sounds. Oh man, I sure do love this place. Sure makes me feel happy. Good to hear, man. Good to hear. Okay, so if you go into this house, and you talk to this girl, shall I play my favorite tune? Sure. Hee <laughs> hee, please listen to my music. And as you can hear, she starts playing the piano. And if you talk to this young man over here, do you want to listen to my drum? Yeah, I do, man. My heart, as long as my heart beats, I will keep on drumming. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I honestly think this is such a cool little touch. You get to hear the awesome music and them playing it, which is, I think, so cool. Uh, there's another instance of this later on, but unfortunately, it's much later on. Anyway, so, um, and as you can see, once you leave the building, it doesn't go away either, which is cool. Anyway, um, so now we're heading to Route 2. Uh, here you have, I call the transition area, because this obviously transitions you from one place to another. Um, it's really not much for us to do. Anyway, you can see up here, if you click A, it gives you a better view, and pretty much just tells you information that you more than likely already know. Anyway, come out here, and you actually have one of my favorite soundtracks in the game. But first, we are interrupted. The X-Transceiver is ringing. Jake picked up the X-Transceiver. Jake, it's your mom. How are things? Are you and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I needed to talk to you, so I called up, but I'm going to hang up the X-Transceiver now. Okay. <laughs> Jake, I finally caught up with you, and you look how and look how far you've come already. Oh, ex excuse me. <laughs> Professor Juniper said that you were probably headed for Strike and City by now. I have another present for you. Jake, try these on. And we get a very useful item, the running shoes. When you're wearing the running shoes, you can go anywhere in a flash. Let me read the, you the instructions. Hold the B button to run faster than normal. Put on the running shoes and tear around to your heart's content. That's what it says. I brought these... I bought these, excuse me, a long time ago and stashed them away somewhere. I found them when I was cleaning up. Guess it's good to clean occasionally. Jake, you understand that you're never really alone, right? You're with Pokemon, you have friends, and you're always in my thoughts. Aw, that's alright then. Enjoy your trip. Thanks, Mom. Anyway, so hold down the B button, and as you can see, you can run. Anyway, um, I think this is a great time to end the video off. So, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next part excuse me, episode, we are going to uh, head to Stride Tin City. See you guys next time.